Hello everybody, welcome to game number six of uh, of Crusaders versus Shaun of the Dead Rolls. Okay. I wonder if he's a guy from uh from Fumble, maybe not. Bean there died that. Is that Sean Bean? Oh god, the Sean Bean, the dead Sean Beans! Oh my god. Oh my god, the Sean Beans. Oh my god, I don't even want to beat this guy. Holy shit. <laughs> How good is that? Carver Dune, that was so... I could, do you know what? Do you know what's unbelievable? Carver Dune, right? Sean Bean playing Carver Dune is just literally Jimmy Fantastic. When I created... Um, <laughs> when I created... <laughs> when I created my... Uh, my Sean Bean... Uh, my, my Sorry, my Jimmy Fantastic character, um, I did not know... Like, you know, I, I had him uh, I had him with a fucking feathery hat and all this shit. And then Bean in uh, in fucking Lorna Dune is just literally Jimmy Fantastic. Check out how good this is. Yeah, I'll put, post the link there. That that's Bean and it's just like he looks at he just is Jimmy Fantastic. I was like, holy shit. I was I was impressed. I've I've never seen it though. I've never seen the actual uh the actual movie but um i've just seen the picture of being in it and i was like holy shit because you know the empire hats have that feathery thing don't they so i, I converted a i converted up a dude to be my uh, warband leader and uh and lo and behold sean bean <laughs> sean bean portrayed him so there you go yeah i should get him in this deep oh god he's got setek that's not bad is it oh, fuck but I thought there's there's a guy on on Fumble who's Clint Eastwood rolls and he's like a a legendary uh, well famous legendary famous undead coach. He's not I don't think he's the best coach, but he likes fouling a lot. And uh, when it was Shaun of the Dead rolls, I thought ah, Sean Bean should have been in Shaun of the Dead, shouldn't he? That was that was a missed opportunity there. <laughs> They should have just been like, they should, they should have been attacked by like 20 different Sean Bean zombies from all the all his different roles. That would have been amazing. <laughs> just frankly, he's just, just frankly a god, that's true. Sedek's a pretty good player for him though, with break tackle and strip. Um, and he's put me in a receive, which is the first time this team has ever received. No, no one's asked me Kurgol, but um, he can do it himself, can't he? Much like much like Ducky's playoff matches, I've got really no interest in watching in watching or commentating and steamrolling people. Um so I'm sure he'll steamroll everybody and win it easily, to be honest. Which is a nice little little advert for himself, isn't it? It seems an incredibly weak weak field, even weaker than, than last season, though obviously Ducky got diced. Um it does seem even weaker than last season, so... I'm sure he'll do it, no problem. Yeah, this is the first time. First time I've had to receive. Unbelievable job. Need to pitch clear room. <laughs> I couldn't do that to Bean. Couldn't pitch clear the Bean team. Good at holy shit. Guess just blitz a Skellington. Guess it's good that he's got Skellingtons to blitz, isn't it?
Receiving is fine, but I, I like to kick because I think, as I as I've said, um, I find the times you don't win as lizard men, or the times when you spend all day picking up the ball. Also, if you've kicked and you've scored on their on their drive, then you can dick around, handing it off to a saurus. Um, Give it to the Crocs. <laughs> no chance. Right, 3D, this fuckhead. Still got a screen on him. Should have done him tagging, I guess, shouldn't I? I don't want to blitz him because I want to fucking blitz the uh, shitty skeleton, don't I? Bean ha has survived sometimes, yeah, but it's not, it's not the norm, is it, for him to survive? survive when Saturday comes Ronin there's two straight away si Silent Hill three three movies instantly that he survived um, <laughs> in, in, in Silent Hill he was the only one who was alive wasn't he in the whole in the at the end which is pretty good Might just bang on me here with the uh, mighty blows, might you? This is uh, could be problematic. Two strength five mighty blow guys can always be a problem. <laughs> Pedro. <laughs> oh, brilliant. <laughs> yeah. I know it was good how like it was <laughs> it's great to be back, thank you, Chana. Um uh, it's just bison's exclamation point bison's kurgol there will be a use for bison's eventually honest trust me all right i'm just gonna go for the fucking blitz here i don't give a shit two plus don't even care I would have loved block though, wouldn't I? Well, never mind. I'd like to make it a little bit tricky for him to blitz, but um, it's tough to do, isn't it? Because he's fucking. Strength fucking fire with mighty blow.
<laughs> practically buy a house. Yeah. When um. <laughs> when um. When they're worth five English pounds, that would be all right. Each one will be worth five English pounds when I kidnap the Eng the British Queen because that is what I will set the, the exchange rate as. <laughs> But, um, yeah, I need to fucking sort shit out, don't I? Maybe it's this weekend a little bit. I'd meant to when I was in England, but I just didn't. I just fucking chilled out. But it was good not doing out because now I'm, like, pretty happy. <laughs> Will George ever finish writing the books? Probably not. I hadn't read the books before I saw the first series. And, uh, and they'd like marketed Bean as the main character, didn't they? And I was I was pretty shocked. I was pretty shocked. Sad, very sad as well, obviously. Oh, he's given up some blocks, which is good, isn't it? <laughs> to be fair though, Jellio, you know you can't hear. At least the TV show is fucking wrapping it up. Jesus Christ, I'm so, I'm 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 done with the books. To be honest, it's so dumb how it's like. Ah, oh, this is interesting. It's going somewhere. Hopefully, we'll get some kind of a you know, you know, resolution. Oh no, no, we'll just he'll just create a new, an entirely new character and stuff. And it was just oh my god. I lost patience with him when he when he fucking when Egon fucking decided to come out of the woodwork. I was like, "Fuck off!" And then and then the other fucking cunt as well with the uh, the fucking Iron Islands pricks. Like Jesus Christ, fuck off! No one even cares. No one even cares about the fucking Iron Island cunts. Pretty good pack. To be fair, I've opened a really good pack in in Hearthstone. Two golden legendaries and a golden there. Yeah, that's pretty that's pretty lucky. And another legendary. I mean now the thing is though, right, that rain ad, he's probably opened a million packs, hasn't he? So Yeah, too many side quests, yeah. It is It is fucking bollocks, isn't it? I think they, they, I think a lot of the book is a lot of the series is better to be honest. So sue me. Gotta get him in for the assist, haven't I? Oh shit! What a shit cunt! You can block him at the end. I have to somewhat worry about this dirty dingo skeleton doing something. A little bit. I'm not going to re-roll, no. So my only double skull. Things. Oh, come on, bonehead. Classic. Classic bonehead fail there. And there's the bolt down. Great. Great. Yeah, like the the dawn the dawn storyline was awful, wasn't it, in in the show, but um Yeah, the uh <laughs> reaction for this week's episode. Yeah, um
Yeah, I liked I liked the uh I like this week's episode. It was I really didn't want Jamie to die or Bron, so it was pretty good because you know like you know there's a good chance for them being the bad guys as it were. Um I mean I would obviously like I'd like Daenerys to die, but you know I knew she was going to fucking win. He's got a he's got a massive boner for 14 year old Daenerys as the old George Martin so um I guess I guess Jamie will survive because he was he was drowning in the shallow <laughs> he was drowning in the shallow end wasn't he <laughs> not a very heroic death <laughs> to drown in the shallow end but um you never know What a sh what a shit fucking bonehead that was! I want to let him blitz him as well. Fuck! Oh, really bad. He's just gonna Casimir straight away. First hit on a skink. No. Ah, oh, pace the ball. Pace the ball. I pace the ball. <laughs> oh, he can sleep easy at night, can't he? Eh? He's done his job. Ball successfully based. You can sleep well tonight. To be fair, this is this is a pretty good ball basing. Because it's just a massive fucking hole in the middle after that fucking bonehead. I maybe I should have moved that other Saurus in to shore it up. Really fucking bad bonehead. Holy shit. Oh, he's getting, oh, sent off. If he sends, if he gets sent off here, he's really fucked up. No, of course not. <sighs> Dead. Oh no! There you go. Probably just lost the game there, didn't I? With that, with that bonehead. Or you know, I could have moved him around though. I just wanted to protect the uh, crocs from getting punched. But this was much worse. <laughs> this was much worse than the Crocs getting punched. No oh, man. One down, three to go. Do you know what I hate it? I do you know what I really hate more than anything in the world is when people just expect to cast skinks. It really fucks me off. And then that attitude of one down, three to go, like Jesus Christ. Do you not realise that you just got lucky to fucking do that? Very lucky. Very, very lucky. And they just they're just like, nah, of course. Of course I cast a skin. Why wouldn't I cast a skin every time I block them or every time I follow them? Like, he hasn't lost a fucking skeleton, has he? No, oh, finally. Finally, a uh, KO. I think I've got to do this one dice first. Can't really get the ball safe, unless I just run away. Put him there. Block him. Block 
walk him, move him back. But it's fucking fucking horrible this. I always can dodge him out at the end, I guess. Rely on the dodge out at the end. GFI, do I? Maybe I go there and then dodge him out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven to get the assist. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, GFI, GFI. Just to dodge the 2D the ball anyway. Of course, it was a score. Oh, double skull, brilliant. 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 Wow. <laughs> oh, well, that's good, isn't it? Made, made one mistake and then lost the game because of it. Always, always fun. Fucking bonehead though, if that hadn't been... But yeah, I should have moved him. He's even got the fucking break tackle stripper as well, hasn't he? So I don't think there's any way I score here, really. That was greedy, wasn't it? Eagerly takes the both down. Well, that was poor. Good for me. Stuns icing on the cake, isn't it? Gotta re roll this though. A few. Can't re roll this, so I'll do it first. Don't want to re roll this. Well, that saved us. There's, um is pretty much bad play, that like bad greed reroll. Pretty much saved us. Might be a way to score now. This chap died, by the way. Or are people just <laughs> not typing anything? Dead. <laughs> All right, that's good to know. Whoa. That was a hell of a mistake by him, wasn't it? Wow. Well, I mean, yeah, it was, it was a mistake. 
So at least he was brutally punished for his mistake. Three turns of the re-roll. Get there, get there, score. Oh, here, here. Get back in the middle or not? I don't know. Yeah, hello, VIP school dude. Yeah, pro tip lizard man is finally happening by mistake. But it's because I didn't call them pro tips, isn't it? I think that's a big help. A big help that I didn't call it pro tips. Can always sideline cage as well, can't you? I really like the sidestep for the for the carrier. Bang done. He seems rather competent though, apart from his mistake. Quite competent. Maybe he's thinking the same. <laughs> it's always a bit dodgy, isn't it, with the break tackle? Fucking the break tackle strip is just always a bit dodgy. Go centre. I guess I do try to go centre. Because if it goes centre, that takes away that mummy, doesn't it? Wow. Fuck you. really fucking annoying. Had to see if those two got knocked over before I could fucking decide where to cage. Which is now going to have to be here, isn't it? No choice. Bonehead not failing now. But I thought if I move the guy in, that shows it up a little bit, doesn't it? I've got block and you don't. Haha. -ha. So bad. I don't think it's easy for him to get the strip in, and now can go either side, either sideline is possible, isn't it? Not good having to re-roll the double skull though. And both of his regens have worked, and my apples failed. It's it, this has got the feel of. A losing feel to it. Good thing is, it doesn't matter if I lose. So there is that. Lizards are strong against everything, except Wood Elves, once Wood Elves get Strip Ball and Tackle. Um, if Wood Elves don't have Strip Ball and Tackle, they're, they're not so frightening, but once once they've got one War Dance with Tackle, one dance with, well, one War Dance with Tackle, and one War Dance with Strip Ball, it's, uh, it's bad times. And, you know, obviously, 
Undead isn't a great matchup because just Undead are a great team, so. You know, there's a. While this isn't terrible, it's not. They can just get you. Anything with anything with anything killy as well, like any mighty blow guys. Is a bit of sad times for you because Claw Necro can be. Um Yeah, funnily enough they are weak against developed slime, yeah, obviously, because they just leap in. So yeah, it's pretty funny. It's pretty funny that that's that slime are pretty much but then, you know, on the other hand, you might just wreck them because they've got their armor 8 and everything with no nothing really exciting about them. So so they can always just wreck the shit, can't they? They can always wreck shit because they've always got 6 strength 4 and and the strength 5. So, like, even even the bad matchup of Wood Elves is uh, very winnable. Right, I could make some moves here, some safe moves first. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Could put the bolter there. Without any dice rolls. Oh my god, there's a dice roll. I had to move him first. Oh my god, that's so bad. Right. But there you go. If you imagine that I'd moved him first, I could have moved him there without any dice rolls. That was pretty bad. Um, right, this one has to be done, doesn't it? And then I want to blitz with the uh, blitz with him because he's got block in he? Although it's it gives up a block. Um, total, it gets gets him around, doesn't it? <laughs> Just loudly. Yeah, wood woodies are tricky. Yeah, but but that's the thing. Once they've got all their um, yeah, you can always just dominate anybody. You can always dominate anybody. Um, but yeah, basically, obviously, yeah, leap from the slam, and like the catches are equal strength. So the catchers can just fucking two plus in, wrestle strip you, see you later. Um, so yeah, De <laughs> slan, not even just develop slan, just slan with a catcher with some skills. Absolutely fucking wreck them. Um, but the same with gutters, isn't it? Once you get a gutter with like wrestle strip or whatever, it's bad times for skinks. Um, but but then all, the, the thing with slan and, and wood elves to an extent, and I'll put definitely Slan and uh, Slan and Skaven is your just dominant line can just beat the fuck out of them, can't they? So um, oh, look, nice spots. I like the I like the Crocs being out there. That really shuts down. Anything coming around the top side, doesn't it? Bit risky in case he boneheaded, but kind of like a double screen, isn't it? And obviously it went the way that he wasn't. Even though it'd have been better to go the other way in terms of the mummies, making them irrelevant. You know, obviously I wanted him to be as far away from Setek as possible. Strip ball in general is, is the bane of lizard men, but But that's the thing, isn't it? And and tackle mighty blow. But he, just, even just mighty blow is bad enough. Fucking bad enough. You don't want you guys getting mighty blow, do you?
Dirty Dingo just going for a foul. Another uphill. Yeah. <laughs> Mighty Blow is, is definitely better than normal. But even Mighty Blow, though, because you're just so bad if you lose a Saurus, which is why you want to stay as low as possible, because... You know, so I guess the the worst matchups are obviously um, can't can't get him into a touchdown foulable position. Could three dice with block. Um, Fuck you, Armour 7 shithead. It was Armour 8 as well, brilliant. Um, I don't really want to 2 dice him. Oh, he's he's a 3 dice. Oh, right. oh, fuck, do I have enough? No, I don't have enough guys to make that. That would have been a better 3 dice at 2. Shit. I should have done that 3 dice. I don't really want to risk a 2 dice. Though. He's on a seven. Ah, fuck. Clutch. Just have to score. Yeah, fuck skeletons. <laughs> fuck fucking skeletons. I don't mind one. Um, <laughs> it sounds stupid. But I don't mind one as like a... Um, a reserve... I like one as a reserve... Ghoul, which sounds f stupid as fuck, doesn't it, when you say it out loud? But that's the way I look at it. But yeah, this, this is—it's rough. This is rough because you can foul, you can mighty blow. It's—it's it's definitely undead are definitely tricky. Really bad, that could have been a ghoul engine instead of a skeleton. Bad, bad not making that. I didn't realise my guy on the floor had block. When I, I looked at his position and I thought, well, I don't want a three dice without block, but if I had uh, if I had realised, I would have done.
Not much to say, is it? Just wait for you guys to get killed. Huge foul incoming. And thanks to his fucking two out of three regions. Or three out of four, was it? Whatever it was. Doesn't even matter if he gets sent off. Probably should have saved my apple for that. Nah, but even then, 50 50, isn't it? Maybe I should have let the skink die. It's just really being down Saurus that matters, isn't it? Not bad. Ah, oh, well, probably going to draw then. Whereas if I'd kicked and I had nine men, I'd still score, I think. I can't see me stopping him. Because I'll go down to eight men here. Minimum. Maximum. <laughs> eight men maximum. Oh, get in! Oh, yes! Wow. Wow, that's probably the luckiest, luckiest I've ever been. <laughs> that was pretty good. Just loudly. Fucking hell, that's so lucky. Holy shit. All right, so now he's on 10. 10 versus 9 ends up bad. He should have lost his fucking ghoul. That's my fault. I didn't hit him. Ah, oh, there you go. This is what I should have saved the apple for. But yeah, 8. Yeah. Catch. He only made... He didn't even block with both mighty blows. What the fuck? That pisses me off. To be honest, this is the kind of move that pissed me off in Blood Bowl. If they powered you with Mighty Blow and you guys die, fair enough. But when they don't even block with a Mighty Blow and get a fucking Kaz, it's like, just fuck off. No need is that. <laughs> no fucking need to, <laughs> to block without Mighty Blow that.
<laughs> yeah, it's true. Being forced to care is is a little bit annoying, isn't it? I still don't care that much, though. To be honest. Right, base the agility three guy with block. He's, uh, he's got to pick up the ball next turn, hasn't he? Just, just fucking loudly. When he does, though, of course, he gets it in a massive cage. But still. What can you do? If he fails this, one in nine, he just loses, doesn't he? So he's got to think about whether he gets uh, gets people back first or not, or if he just relies on one in nine he loses. I think he'll probably blitz a skin and move people back first, which at least delays him and then doesn't get me out of position, does it? That's why I didn't mind going a bit out of position, seemingly out of position there. No, he's not going to blitz a skin. Well, now he's he's looks like he's going to rely on the one in nine he loses. Interesting strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off. Eight times out of nine, it does. <laughs> Funny though, isn't it? Like, you know, I don't know. It's those kind of things where you go for that, and then the one in nine happens, and you're like, fuck's sake, how could I be so stupid to risk the game on a one in nine? <laughs> but then eight times out of nine, it's the right call, isn't it? So it's hard to say. Eight times out of nine, it gets a big payoff. Bigger payoff, not really a big payoff, bigger payoff than if he was played safer. I think he should have probably played safe. I think he should blitz the skink and uh, move everybody back so that a 1 in 9 didn't lose in the game. But now he's, he's all in on it, isn't he? Also, he has to re-roll it. I mean, he had to re-roll it anyway, I guess, even if he had cover. He'd have to re-roll the pickup if it failed. Yeah, of course it doesn't. Yeah, yeah, I guess so, Janto. It do, it is better though. It is it does put him in a better spot than it would have been. Huge foul incoming. Huge foul. Don't get sent off and don't break armor. Lucky cunt, man, man. There's so, there's no need to be that lucky, is there? It was just a simple dodge in, and then block him and chain forward the. Saurus onto a 2D. Fucking hell. Oh, there's no need for him to get sent off there, is there? Holy shit. I guess I can just block him and then run in that way. Got to sacrifice his skink here to a mummy, which isn't isn't good, is it? So I guess him getting sent off wasn't bad actually. Well, I could have done that anyway, couldn't I? Could I? Don't know. Oh, nice.
Yes, very good point. Very good point, John Tools. So yeah, it's probably not worth it in most situations to do to do a move like that. Right, can I make it? Like, is that worth it? Might be. This is definitely worth it, isn't it? Armor 7? No. Huge stun there, though. Frees up the Crocs next turn. He's just going to get piled, though. And him, and then it's so easy for him, isn't it? Gotta just go this way. Fuck it. You only live twice. Hmm, not bad, not bad. Making a fight of it. Oops, shit. Um, did I put this on before? I think I did, didn't I? Fuck. I've been checking that and I did it. Oh, I didn't even realise. No one said anything. <laughs> right. I think I did that before and no one, no one even said anything. I didn't realise. Oh, this is great that there's a little free skink here. Yeah, a few times no one said anything, so <laughs> I thought I had I thought I had cross out turned off, but when nobody said anything. Yeah. Oh he's gonna free up his free up his fucking zombie for the win. Well, actually, that did me a favour, probably. Oh, man. This is sick, isn't it? Just 2D. 3+, plus, pick it up, run away. Bob's your uncle. Fanny's your aunt. He can block to free up this skink. That skin can make some dodges at the end. Oh my god. Wow. Wow. Calvin Doom. <laughs> oh, the Jimmy Fantastic skin. Uh, this is a thing, whatever the fuck he is, goes down. So now this is an 8 out of 9. I win, isn't it, pretty much? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. He could block him. He could block him. He can block him. Right, so th this one's the risky one, isn't it? Because there's no block. Hello, Velardi. <laughs> Thank you. I could just... I could more or less have a cage here. I don't want to activate the um, the crocs in case he boneheads, so I could make a cage there, right? More or less. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. This is pretty annoying so far. If 
you. And oh, shit cunt. Can use a reroll here now because it makes it a, makes it a cage. Alright, good. Shit shit round of blocking. <laughs> but um Never mind. <laughs> Thank you, Overlord. It's good to be back, to be honest. I, I didn't want to stop playing Blood Bowl forever, you know. And, oh, wow, he just accepted it. Didn't even use his reroll. He's done. Been pretty lucky to be fair, I've been pretty lucky with the amount of cars I made here. Yeah, it was it was good that I found Cross Out because it meant that I could continue streaming, um, though not obviously the last week when I've been on holiday. Last two weeks I've been on holiday, which is that's helped a lot to be honest, because I still hated Blood Bowl while I was streaming the Cross Out. Um, but of course, he had to. He, I knew he'd bonehead, see? That's why I didn't want to activate him the other turns. Um, him sacrificing himself to keep a mummy away is probably worth it, isn't it? Yeah, even when I, like, even when I was streaming the cross out and occasionally playing Blood Bowl, I still hated Blood Bowl. Um, whereas now, I think I've got all, but it helps that there's no pressure on, that's the thing. I mean, if it was still 500 euros and that, maybe I'd still be pissed off all the time. But I got a little salty that I made a mistake on my drive that nearly cost me the game, but I've been incredibly lucky with cars, to be fair. Even though two knockouts, well, a knockout and a fail and a apo fail isn't great for lizard men. The good thing is they can cope with less, can't they? He's just given up, just fouling. Fair enough. I had a I had a bean themed team on uh, on Fumble, which was amazing, which was big beans, and it was they were all Sean Bean rolls. All the ogres were Sean Bean rolls, and the uh, the the goblins, as they were, were. Um, were the women of Sharp, which was pretty cool. Oh, are you shitting me? Don't be shit cunts. He didn't get a cars. This, this hit squad over here. Wow. Knew it. I fucking knew it. Oh my god. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I should have moved into the corner first, shouldn't I? Oh my god. One, two, three, four, five, six, GFI, GFI, not even hard. I should just moved into the corner for her. Fuck's sake. Fuck's sake. Like, even the GFI didn't put it out. So there you go, should have made safe moves first. Guy there, guy there, ball there, totally safe. Idiotic. But that's the thing, when your opponent gives up on the game, it's easy to take it easy. You shouldn't. And that, that's why you should never give up. You should never... You should never believe people when they say, I'm giving up and I'm just going to pass the turns. You should never ever believe them. And you should never ever stop trying to crush people because... I mean, he made the rolls there, maybe, didn't he? That he could have made to, uh, to have got the ball.
<laughs> the next GFI is a one. Good job saving that reroll. <laughs> Getting the point where maybe I should score now, isn't it? Even though he's displayed no interest in getting the ball. Stands up, he gets hit by you. No, me, doesn't he? Don't know what I do about the weekend. I could either stream all weekend to, uh, to you know, let people know I'm back, <laughs> um, or I could make some YouTube videos because Senai's at work. All weekend. Do you reckon I should do this? We'll do. I could do all of them. Like I mean, not even redo them. I don't want to redo them. I don't want to redo the ones that I've got that I've done. But I could do, you know, all the ones that are missing. Um, and do some cross out YouTube shit as well. Good, isn't it because it gets to push the mummy away <laughs> one two three double gfi to hit now we can't hit with mighty blow so Do all the, I'll do all the stra team strategy guides. And it's good because then when, uh, you know, it'll be ready for when fucking Blood Bowl, Blood Bowl 2 Legendary Edition comes out and it, it'll all be done for that. So all I'll have to do is do the eight new ones. Well, I could do that the next beta testing weekend, couldn't I? As if he thinks 200 was up. I mean, he got a really good value star player with a TV difference, to be fair. To be fair, like, it does suck being 200 TV down, but he's got a really good player for that 200. So, while while I'm never happy about being 200 TV down, um, if you get fucking Silly Billy or Setek, it's a really fucking good star, isn't it? Yeah, it's looking. This one's looking good. Yeah. 
<laughs> I'm getting a fucking touchdown foul here, I think. So we'll be in that square. Yep. <laughs> oh, baby. I'm back, bitches. <laughs> if I get a power anyway. Ah, shit. What a shit cunt. Totally could have made the fucking touchdown foul. Should have re-rolled. Nah. <laughs> nah, John tells. If I'd re-rolled, it's double skull in it. All day. All day. <laughs> yeah, true, true. But I'd rather win 2-0 than 1-0. Just for the sake of a touchdown foul. I, I wouldn't... I wouldn't risk it for that. He got MVP and got a level out of it, so... Set that got MVP for him. <laughs> Absolutely shot on. The dice were crazy there in terms of my injuries that I inflicted. Very lucky. But then did almost double block him, so... Five cards sustained. That's crazy. Very lucky. But he did... He did... Um, he did... He did... Uh, to be fair, he did... Um, regen a lot of them. Oh, I didn't even see who I sacked. Who did I sack? It's a penny, is it? Must be. But I don't even have Mindy yet. Puts us into the 180 thing. 150 even. I guess I should buy the uh, weather stadium. I could have bought the weather stadium, couldn't I? Normal. What about this guy? Double. Oh, baby. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Pedro. <laughs> yeah, ah, interesting. So, normally I go show sure hands first. Because, no way have I got two pennies. Oh, pennies DPS as well. Ah, oh, dickhead. Yeah, Penny's DPS as well, isn't he? So it must have been Mindy then. Oh, Billy, it was Billy. Oh, fuck's sake, it was Billy. I'm an idiot. Yeah, two pennies. Ah, oh, well, I'll just sack the other one. All right. So normally I go show hands because I think one of the ways you don't win is by f failing to pick up the ball. So could go show hands, but obviously block's really good, isn't it? I think show hands is better. Because you really shouldn't get your fucking skinks hit anyway, should you? End of the day. End of day. Um, there's no joke. There's no joke. It's the um, it's the best. It's my favorite. <laughs> it's my favorite. Um, my favorite game. Yeah, sure. And you just got you got to make them pickups, haven't you? You gotta make them pickups as uh, as lizard men, and this guy's a bit shit now. Um, he can have diamond attack. Probably get sacked. Probably get sacked. Though um, no, I do like a sidestepper. Um, right. Anyway, there you go. That's it. I might I might sack. Sajin, because he's uh, he's getting onto a lot of TV, isn't he? There with 40, 40 TV on him. But there you go. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.